Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Sangster One. Today we have a special uh, message here. Uh, we're dealing here with uh, the 2012 hoax and cosmophobia.org and a few other issues which I think need to be brought up as a responsible community. But before we start, there are a number of people that you see this one, this one here, how, are, how we write uh, Sangstan One videos presentation through researchers. There are people who are imitating it, uh, and so this is the issue why I bring up this uh, topic because of people like this one. Uh, and so what this character has done is is creating a playlist here with 62 videos, 15 views. And he created that on the 8th of November 2016. Uh, he also created another one. Same writing, that's my channel here. The SAC words, you know, capital T and R, exactly the same. With 67 videos, only 10 views. And this one was created on 23rd of April 2017. Um, I think that this particular individual thinks that one day he's going to be a moderator in Cosmophobia or something like that, but <clears throat> I don't think he has a hell in chance, <laughs> a chance in hell, um, because I don't think he will be accepted. Um, I don't think he will ever be an admin over there. And so what he done here is and he's putting it up here again. So let's have a look at this, shall we? I don't want to play the video because uh, I'm already aware with the issues involved. But I want, first of all, uh, this is the Cosmophobia is also Bill Hudson, okay? So, and he wrote open letter to Sangsta One. But first of all, there is, it shows there 30 comments, all right? You will notice that at least if you do your reviews and do some checking on it, and most of these people, uh, I believe that uh, some of them are moderators in his community. So it's all being carefully worked out to show us if he's got mass support, but they're all part of his group. Uh, and also I believe that some of them uh, might be admin in Cosmophobia as well. All right, so having seen that, I want to see this one here. And uh, Bill Hudson starts with a comment. Uh, on a video that David uh, Morrison, that David did about the 2012 hoax, the truth about the 2012 hoax. Now it so happens that um, I was concerned about a, an account that I saw and so I wrote to NASA uh, to actually to David Morrison uh, care at dot gov all right and I was asking him I say a very polite letter dear sir I have found a YouTube account with your name on and I like to ask, is your YouTube, if this is your YouTube account? Simple, all right? And I even put the uh, the URL, which is um, the user with a forward slash, uh, Morrison with a big M, followed by David with a big D, and one at the end. So it reads Morrison David one. I don't know why I did that. Could it be a copy of Sangsta one? <laughs> And uh, then I ask, uh, this account was created on the 29th, on August the 29th, 2011, all right? That was when the account was uh, created. So I, I sign respectfully yours, my name. On Friday, uh, 25th of November, 2011, at 6.32, not sure if this morning or afternoon, I got a reply of, uh, from um, Lockheed Martin Space OPNS. All right, uh, the name was Daniela. She wrote to me, uh, 
of at nasa.gov and what it says is thank you for your email I am out of office returning Wednesday November the 30th I will be checking email periodically go MSL in capital letters and sign Daniela well uh, so much for checking periodical uh, so much for uh, David checking periodical um, emails but no I never got a reply about that and also uh, David Morrison makes some bogus claim about uh, over 300 people that are committed suicide and, and and it went on and on so this is why um, I was eventually um, uh, blocked in the channel because while everybody else was talking about a bit of this and a bit of that, I was interested in in the facts. I was interested in two things. Number one was I wanted to know the truth about what he stated that hundreds of people have committed suicide, and um, and according to uh, Bill, he said he, he would be provided or provided um, the link. But when I asked for the link, he did a comment and say, I wouldn't, be I wouldn't believe it if I saw it anyway. So in other words, they didn't produce uh, any sort of information to verify the claim because that claim on, the, on that issue stands and falls on whether they got evidence that people as, as being um, committed suicide and of course not one came up on the year of 2012 and the reason that I know that is because I did wrote a department that deals with uh, suicide all right and they have records of all type of suicide that uh, unfortunately is a very sad thing and they didn't have any 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 suicide regarding the 2012 hoax all right and then of course I had an issue in that if somebody is going to come out uh, in defense uh, how do you say in advising young people right they should have every one of them should have uh, similar to what you know, have you ever noticed uh, like in uh, in the age in the, in the Australian newspaper uh, I've seen a number of times in that uh, the editors uh, name would appear and he has a background and things like that so you know who you are talking to you, you you're not talking just to, to that uh, any person but you're talking to a specific person who is qualified in giving some sort of counseling in regard to the fear of, of the doomsday all right and so none of that they are all fictional characters uh, coming up, and some people uh, had uh, multiple accounts uh, attacking me from everywhere. Anyway, and so that is the story, all right? And uh, they decided to uh, do this campaign to um, to try uh, to strike my channel. Now, for those of you who have seen my video, you already know about this in the video here, okay? So I don't need to uh, uh, tell you again and about this particular in the video here, okay? Now, uh, and so, but I believe that he make a misspell on the name here. He should have an I as well. But anyway, and so let's have a look now at the, uh, where are we? At the cosmophobia okay and uh, so what I'm interested in here is at, at this particular one is the Facebook and so uh, let's go to the Facebook and what you see here these are the uh, all the moderators there according to hang on a moment what did I say here he says, anyone can find the group and see who is in it. Only members can see posting. Okay, so according to Bill Hudson, who created this site, I believe, uh, he set it up with that condition. So with that in mind, we're going to have a look. And it's got a, 
uh, a number of moderators, which, uh, what is it? It's nine moderators here. This one, this one, this one, that one, most of you would have known already. And then you got some of these ones here, which I've never seen before. Uh, All together is 545 members. Okay. And so if you, um, if you want, you can have a look at the, uh, the site of the moderators, all right? And so he got quite a large number of people working on, on Bill's site. And uh, I'm sure that if there was an issue or a problem with either 2012 hoax or cosmophobia, uh, these moderators would have the uh, authority to do something about it in their website I'm talking about. Okay, and so let's have a look now at the cosmophobia.org. And so as you can see uh, the naming here, okay. Uh, I wish to say one thing here, uh, this is for my Spanish community. Uh, en el sitio donde vivimos nosotros, la palabra cosmofobia la hemos usado muchas veces. Constantemente, cuando los americanos siempre mentían cuando eh, sobre la guerra en el, ¿cómo se llama? En Vietnam y cosas así. Y me acuerdo yo cuando había un, un soldado, eh, estaba en, en, estaba él, eh, ¿cómo se dice? En, en comanda mandando las órdenes y raptó todo un village mató a toda la gente ahí y la, nada decía la prensa sobre eso hasta más tarde y nosotros eh, escuchamos eso y, se, y siempre decía estos bastardos americanos siempre están meti metiendo eh, mentiras y lo usamos en la, en la casa cosmofobia siempre ha sido una cosa que hemos usado no quiere decir que yo tengo eh, copyright claim de eso. Eso es una mentira puso para esta gente, pero uh, I was just saying that um, explaining to my Spanish uh, friends, okay? And that I don't own any claim to this one, so, uh, but it was a mistake by, because when you uh, let someone else handle it when you're not there, you know, some people are very uh, loyal to me, and so that's what they did. But I realized the mistake. But uh, cosmophobia is, is a, is, you know, for NASA to say that is as a reasonable fear of the cosmos is complete bullshit because the greatest fear nowadays it could be a, uh, 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 what do you say, unemployment to some people, drugs to some families that their children are taking drugs that their children are being harassed and raped by people on the internet. That is the fear, the cosmophobia. And also, um, you need to remember that Mifsonia also destroyed a lot of the giant skeletons uh, that they recover, okay? And it was not made to the public. That is also cosmophobia, um, not coming up with the truth, hiding the truth, all right? And, and so you see. And so now we're going to have a look at the uh, the special side of NASA, which uh, Bill Morrison, uh, which uh, Bill Hudson has put in here. So we have a look at it. So you can see you can you you can send it to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. And so we have a look all the way down there because what I want to know is the source of this thing. Uh, as you can see, uh, David is, is the one who is uh, putting up the source of this information, all right? The same man that uh, got rid of his account in Facebook after he did that video, which I think is good, totally wrong. And so he got to a two website here that he's been put up, he says, one is the uh, one is the summary of issues. Uh, well, let me read everything. For those who want to examine the 
in the details of the argument and counter argument, there are two good sources. One is the summary of issues on my website. Okay. <laughs> it says here, page not found, life, no life found in here. Uh, does that sound familiar? Uh, yeah. Let's go back. And then, of course, it says, the other comprehensive private website called uh, 2012 Hoax. All right, so what you see here is www.2012hopes.org. And this website is being used uh, to advertise and sell drugs, uh, more specific hormones, anabolic sterile drugs, which is uh, for a site like that is totally unaccepted and as I said before, as I was saying to uh, about the uh, these people here, all right. I like to know what you people are, these moderators and the 545 members of the go. What are they going to do about removing that shit from there? And so let's see now. As I said before, uh, now we are in the Google uh, Plus. Uh, now this one goes by the name of William Hudson. I believe that in United States, the Bill and William is, they use it to mean the same thing. I mean, I do not understand that, but that's how they are over there. So we have a look here. And, uh, and as you see, uh, he's put a photograph here at the bottom of it with the 2012hoax.org. At, at the bottom of the, the URL is a Twitter account, which I, I was the main one responsible for having it banned because they were completely, um, it was really bogus, especially putting those uh, $3,000 in a video challenge, which is a complete nonsense. And then, of course, they have the Facebook account here, as well as this one. It says, I am the founder of website 2012 Hoax. Our website seeks to find details and debunk doomsday and rumors surrounding 20 December 21st. I, I got no issues with this one. Can I say I've always supported uh, to talk about against the fear mongering that goes on. It's a big danger for everybody, especially for the kids, all right? But let's have a look at this. One day we had to do something in Australia about the internet. Um, and so here we have again, all right, of Bill Hudson, his website, www.2012hoax.org, and uh, it's being used for selling hormones, anabolic steroids to the public. All right, now when you consider that a lot of the young ones, a lot of young people will be coming to this website and having a look at it because they are fear mongering and then they come in, co in, co in contact with this sort of uh, nonsense, this sort of dangerous site, that's not bloody good. And Bill Hasson has to know that. Now this is 2012 hoax. And uh, his name is Bill Hudson on this one, all right? And so, uh, let's see. I, I will show you in a moment afterwards. Um, it's a, this is the Google Plus page for 2012 Hoax, a website which seeks to find, identify, and debunk. This is, it, it's the same bullshit, okay? Um, let's click on it. And what Bill Hudson has done is to promote again on this site here, uh, that's what it shows. It says 2012 hoax, great pro hormones and legal anabolic steroids for sale. And then it's got here uh, 
steroids online all right this is uh this is a a complete you know like how, how can i put it these people here they're the same ones that go around saying ah oh, you know uh criticizing anybody who uh who would uh, be uh, monetizing their videos, you know? Particularly this person here, this one. He always does that. He's very proud of being hopeless. Well, I just want to know from this guy what he thinks about that, okay? And so people uh, selling of uh, buying buying steroids I just don't agree on drugs okay uh, I've always been against drugs from the very start I've seen the harm that does on people it, because when you take drugs you don't realize uh, at the moment that you're taking it until you go down a couple of years down the track and then you, by then it will be too late uh, but uh, for 2012 hoax to be promoting this sort of nonsense, this sort of this sort of shit, is just not on. This is not on. This this, this is uh, look at that. And he hasn't done anything about it. He hasn't put any warnings whatsoever about the dangers of taking steroids in any one of his website. And there you are. He's selling it. Now, I don't see any warnings here. Do you see any warnings here? I don't see not one warning here, but then he takes the time to attack Sangsta One. So I do not know these people. Where do they get their brains from? You know, like, uh, it, it, it makes no sense to me. Make no sense to me. Uh, what about this one, bad astronomy? What what what's this got to say? Field plate. Uh, yeah, it's not it's not found. Forbidden. Four o three. What's that mean? But they do have the time to try and strike my channel. You know. So just be aware, folks. If you uh, if you see other sites playlist in particular that's got that always check on this site here check our about us all right this is a good way of getting to know which is our channels all right so you can find them all here and uh, my advice to you moderators here all of you guys is to uh, do something about the 2012 hoax you need to remove it and uh, what you need to do is to add your 2012 hoax the one in, in uh, wiki.com and put it there instead that's my advice to you see i'm giving you free advice and i'm not even a moderator all of you people are very sleepy in, in your attitude when it comes to doing real jobs thank you for watching sangsta one